Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a few pictures and videos of a setup cube that I made. And it was inspired by Stefan Gottesvinter, who apparently got, got the idea from um, Tom Lipton. Both of them are excellent channels. Go and subscribe. So, I made the top and the bottom plates out of 15 millimeter uh, low carbon steel. So, I won't be hardening it or doing anything like that. It's just for, you know, medium ac accuracy work. The uh, tube is 70 by 70 by uh, 4 millimeters, 4 millimeter wall thickness. In inches, I believe the plates are fifth, uh, 5 eighths of an inch thick, and the tube is. Th almost three inches by three inches by uh, an eighth of an inch uh, thick. So here I'm just showing a few few clips of the uh, of the milling action, and uh, this is a brand new 20 millimeter cobalt end mill, and it's amazing how quietly it actually cuts. Okay, and um, I didn't get a lot of video, unfortunately. I didn't have the opportunity. But the main reason why I made the setup cube was to clamp this very oddly shaped um, L bracket, I guess. And it needs to be, f you know, fairly accurate. But for example, when I clamped the setup cube in the vise and ran the indicator up and down over 120 millimeters, uh, it was running out about one one hundredth of a millimeter. So I would say a pretty good, pretty good result on on, a, on the on that accuracy. And um, here you can see some uh, milling action. And this is a program I wrote by hand just for, uh, you know, just for practice. And uh, I'm trying to get more into uh, CNC milling. And um, the cutter that I'm using is an old Soviet stock cutter uh, from T1 uh, high speed steel. So T1 was the um, like the first version of, of carbide because it has a lot of tungsten in it. I believe it has 18% tungsten in the uh, in the alloy, and it's also coated in in uh, titanium aluminum nitride coating. And on top of that, it's uh, what's called a bull bull nose uh, end mill. So it has a rounded uh, corner and Unfortunately, this one is already a little bit, you know, worn out and has seen, you know, better days. But still, it's amazing how quietly it cuts. But even better than that, it's amazing how how smooth the surface is after milling. I've been very, very happy with this end mill. I, I still have a few left. I'm definitely going to be using them for, you know, wherever I can, I'll try to use them. And to clean up the sides, I have... Um, a, uh, the previous end, end mill, the bull, bull nose end mill was uh, four flute. This is a five flute end mill. Um, I believe it's actually meant for aluminum. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure, but it cuts very, very well, and it leaves a fantastic, fantastic finish. It's, you know, it's basically silky smooth. Okay, and uh, you know, just showing you a few, a few clips and. Uh, after finishing the part, I was very happy because I believe I got it to within uh, within uh, maybe a hundredth, maybe two over the over the entire distance, which was 150 millimeters of the uh, L bracket. Now, so I was very happy with the with the setup cube. It made everything much much easier, and it also made it repeatable because I had had to make more than one. All right, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more if you liked it, and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.